Remember these bad boys? Snapchat glasses? I feel so old school wearing these. But today we are doing the top 10 Android apps of February for 2022. So the first app on the list is called Dina, and this is a weather app I have never seen before. This tells you the weather through recommended outfits. So it's like, oh, what's the weather today? Ah, oh, the weather is uh, two hoodies, a scarf, and a, and a beanie. This is a really weird way of, of telling the weather. So how it works, you basically go into your personal stats, you change your skin type, your sex, your birthday, your height, your weight. It works out basically how chilly you're gonna be depending on the temperature, and then it can accurately predict what you might need to wear to stay nice and cozy. But other than just telling you what to wear, obviously it's a nice weather app. There's a really clean design. There is a dark mode, but it only seems to activate of a night. So there doesn't seem to be any manual way of overriding it. Scrolling on down, you can see some information like the wind speed, the likelihood of rain, the likelihood of whether you're getting sunburn or not. So it actually tells you I'm gonna be safe for my skin type from being sunburned tells you the humidex and it also tells you sort of the weekly forecast, the highs, the lows, all your usual weather stuff, but it's a cool weather app. So app number two is widget share. Widgets have always been a pleasure to use on Android and now it's just that little bit more personal and shareable because you can actually share the widget with your friends. So jumping in, you can go create your own widget. You type in your widget name. So um, Matt's widget, let's just call it that because that's what it is. Then you go into your gallery, you can choose basically like any image you want to set for the widget and it will live update. And then you can go ahead and actually send the widget. So you go ahead and actually share this widget ID. You can just copy it or just share it via social media. When your friends open it, they're able to download this app and get the exact same widget. And whenever you update it, it updates for them. And whenever they update it, it updates for you. So pretty cool thing to have with your friends. App number three is a KWGT add-on. Where would I be without these KWGT add-ons? Basically, KWGT is a widget pack and Minimal is an add-on for that widget pack, which has a bunch of awesome widgets in here. So they're really minimal. They're mainly like calendar entries or app shortcuts. They also have like music players or just, just little quirky quotes. And uh, overall, I just love these. They have a real Android 12 sort of vibe as well, which I really like. But honestly, there's just tons in here. I really like pretty much like every single one of these. 95% I would say I would put on my home screen. Uh, they're just incredible. So if you wanna check out some cool minimal KWGT widgets, go check out Minimal. So app number four is volume. Do you guys ever find you don't have enough time to read? I always feel like I've got stuff to do and I barely have time to read. Like literally, I've got my university work to do. I'm studying a master's in marketing. I'm doing YouTube videos. I've got a new channel, Matt Rob Visuals. You can check out that link down below. And like, I barely have time. So if you wanna get some bite-sized, short content to read, which is actually really helpful and provides useful information, you can check out Volume. Jumping into it, it basically greets you with a bunch of recommended articles or bite-sized content you might wanna read. You can personalize your feed here so you can actually choose sort of the relevant topics you're looking for. And then it will actually provide you with things that you're interested in. So if I wanna read something, say on Nikola Tesla, go ahead and click on it. I can subscribe to the creator so I can get updated on their latest content. And then I can simply scroll horizontally and read information about who Nikola Tesla was. And if I finish reading it, I can just simply scroll onto the next article. So I really like this design. It makes scrolling through different articles really, really great. So if I wanna find anything, even if it's about black holes, I can just easily scroll through this bite-sized content. I can read all the sort of necessary things about what a black hole is. And it actually provides me with quite a lot of information that's pretty useful and it only takes a minute or so to actually read through these. So if you wanna learn something, if you wanna just read some bite-sized content, then volume is where it's at. Up next is app number five, which is Wallpy. I really struggle to sort of narrow down the wallpaper apps because there's so many but this one really has a place in my heart. There's no ads in here from what I can see. Super clean interface, and it's a really responsive app, which gets updates so frequently. Every time I jump in here, I find awesome new wallpapers. It's ridiculous. And I love this little collection section. This one here specifically, the Gyro Espinel Angel. There's so many awesome wallpapers in here. Look at these. There's some really vibrant ones, but then there's some like moody ones, like this light right here. I really like that with the brick wall. 
There's just so many to choose from. I love these types of wallpapers. So personally for me, this is just awesome. It's filled with like incredible wallpapers, but there's some really cool functionality diving in the settings. You can actually change the wallpaper automatically depending on like numerous factors. So depending whether you're on Wi-Fi or whether you're on 4G, or you can make it change by the time of day or your theme on your device. So overall, Wallpi, definitely a great wallpaper app. App number six is Car Cloud Community. This isn't like the best looking app, but it's actually pretty handy in terms of its functionality. So jumping in here, I added my car license plate, and from that, it goes ahead and grabs all the information about whether your car is taxed, when the MOT is due up, and there's actually a section in here which tells you sort of your car valuation. So basically how much is worth if you were to sell it. There's a great little section to add your vehicle V5 logbook, your insurance documents, and then jumping onto this tab on the right here, you can actually get an insurance quote directly inside the app. So basically you just put in all your details and it's gonna provide you with some of the best quotes. So honestly, for me, this is a really cool app. It also sort of alerts you, sends you push notifications when you need to get those things done on your car. So honestly, Car Cloud Community is actually pretty good. App number six, check it out. So app number seven is Sound ID. So if you guys have a really great pair of headphones, but you feel like the sound just isn't quite right, it's just not fully like what you like, you can personalize it using this app. So jumping into this app, first of all, connect your headphones. So you will need a pair of headphones for this. I'm using the Bose QC35 Mark II. I've been using these for a while. Great sound quality, great noise isolation. Simply pop them on and then go through the configurator. It will play various different sounds and frequencies and you can go ahead and choose whether you like it or not. And it will personalize its own EQ specifically for your hearing. So you can get the best sound quality out of your headphones. There's no music playing. I'm just doing this for the shot. But once you've configured it all, it's gonna come up with a picture of your headphones. You can go and toggle on and off your sound ID, which will change the overall sound profile. Pretty cool app, I really like this. Sound ID, check it out. So coming up at number eight is this app called ME. It basically stands for mental health. And it's great because if you're ever stressed out or anxious, or you're a little bit worried about anything, you can jump inside this app and it will help you calm down. There's a section in here for breathing, so you can actually choose whether you wanna reduce anger, reduce sadness, reduce maybe your anxiety, and it's gonna lead you through a process of how to relax and breathe over the period of two minutes. So you jump in, click start, it's gonna tell you when to inhale, when to exhale, it's gonna play relaxing sounds and it's gonna try and calm you down. There's also a meditating section, so if you wanna improve your sort of health and wellness or your mindfulness, you can jump in here and you can do some meditation and also play some really relaxing sounds. And if you struggle to sleep, I actually use this section here to play some really nice ambient sounds when I'm lying down to try and help me relax and just fall asleep. Honestly, a super simple app, but I really like it. So there you go. So coming up at app number nine is Shortcut Maker. This is a great way of making custom shortcuts for your home screen, but there's really like a lot you can do with this app. Like, I mean, a lot. So for starters, you can choose a shortcut to open your split screen multitasking. You can choose which apps will open every time you click the shortcut. That saves a lot of time, but there's a whole lot more you can do. You can actually go ahead and apply a certain toggle in the settings or in any app on your device. And when you go ahead and click the app icon on your home screen, it's gonna actually change that toggle. So really quick way of changing settings without actually jumping into the app, scrolling through a bunch of lists. One of my personal favorite things is you can actually create a shortcut which opens a specific page within an app. So say I open backdrops and I commonly go to the favorite page, I can actually make an icon so when I click it, it just jumps straight into that rather than me having to actually open the app and then go to the favorites. I know it seems like a little small thing, but there's really so many possibilities you can do with this app. Last up on the list is called Pro Screens. This is a community which shares their home screen setups and there's some really beautiful home screens in here. Like some of them are like, damn, they're really sexy. And then clicking on it, it's gonna actually tell you how you can recreate that on your own device. So it's gonna tell you where you can get the wallpaper from, where you can get the widget, the widget add-on, which launcher you need to download. And it's gonna give you a backup for some of these as well. So you can actually go ahead and directly restore the exact layout of some of these setups. So if you're looking for a new way of, of, you know, spicing up your home screen and you're looking for something a little bit different, jumping in here, you can find some really great examples of home screens, and then you can just go ahead and find out how to create it yourself. So honestly, Pro Screens, pretty cool app to finish off the video. But thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to check out my new channel, link will be down below. I am trying super, super hard with that. YouTube is a hard game. 
Um, but thank you so much for supporting me, guys. I really appreciate it. Also, subscribe on this channel if you haven't already. I feel like most people who watch these haven't actually subscribed. It's some ridiculous number, like 80%. So please go ahead and actually do subscribe. That's enough talking for me. I'll see you later. Peace. Oh, my God.